Welcome to my YouTube channel once again. Today we'll be solving, we'll be talking about what we call the differentiation involving first principle. In differentiation, differentiation have different methods of solving it. We have the formula method, we have the method such as the quotient method, we have the product rule, we have the function and the function, also known as the chain rule, and from there we have other differentiation, such as differentiation involving word and a word problem involving differentiation. But today we'll be talking about just only differentiation involving the first principle. This is the basic steps to know and to understand before you must know before you can understand any calculation involving differentiation with these few examples we'll be working with one example we have we say one of the examples say y is equals to x you say find the y say find the y over the x using using the first principle using the first principle so if we see something like this what are we going to do it's very very easy the first step we are going to do we are going to see solution by the time we are done seeing solution by the time we say solution so we are going to say y is equals to x then we are going to say y plus change of y is equals to x plus change of x why do we do something like this we do something like that because we are saying x is equals to x plus change of x why we say x is equal to change of x because if we say take limit of change of data of x to zero we are going to say x is equal to x where we see data of x we are going to put zero plus zero so we are saying x is equal to x in other words this one is still the same as this one so we are still going to do the same thing for y so we are saying y is equal to y plus data of y so since we say y plus data of y is also equals to x plus data of x so when we have something like this, what are we going to do? We are going to make data of y the subject of formula. In other words, we are going to bring this man to the right hand side. So we are going to say data of y is equal to x plus data of x minus y. And from our question, we know our y is equal to this. So we we'll say data of y is equal to x plus data of x minus what is our x? What is our y? X. So we are going to say x. So by saying data of y is equal to x, x and x are common. And this one is carrying positive and this one is carrying negative sign. So this one and this one are going to easily cancel out. So we are left with data of what? Of x. If we are left with data of x, we are going to divide through by data of x. So we are going to say data of y divided by data of x is equal to data of x divided by data of x. So we are going to say data of x is going to cancel each other. By the time we are left, we are done with data of y is all over data of x is, also, is equal to 1. So then we'll say something like this, then we are going to do something further. Well, we'll say data of x, we are limiting it to 0. So by the time we, limit it, we are limiting it to 0, so we are going to have data of y over data of x, limit data of x to 0 equals to 1. Anytime you see something like this, we are going to say data of y to data of x, let's take it to be dy over dx. So we are going to say dy over dx is equals to 1. Since there's nothing like data of x here, we are not going to put any value. So dy over dx is equals to 1. So this is our final answer. Thank you.